Hello guys, welcome to Python and Machine Learning Daily. Today let's talk about OpenAI pricing, because quite a lot of people in their Python scripts use OpenAI API for stuff like chatbot, for image generation and stuff like that. So what does it actually mean if you see that 0.3 per 1000 tokens or 0.001? What does that actually mean and how does it actually calculate to any sum of money? In this video, I will explain a few ways to calculate that. Of course, the most straightforward calculation or calculation in air quotes is just go to your dashboard of OpenAI. Here's my dashboard for the last month. And you can check here for every day, for example, what is the model, GPT-4 and then embedding and then these are the numbers, but those numbers are not that accurate. So less than one cent, but how exactly? And also what are the API calls price per API call, for example? You would not see it here. And also what I've noticed that these numbers, these charts are refreshed only after some time. So I had to wait a few times, 10 to 20 minutes until the numbers appeared on this dashboard. Then there's also activity. So you can check the amount of tokens per model like GPT 3.5, for example. Context tokens is part of your prompt and then generated tokens is what comes back. So these are my numbers for last days. There's also GPT 4 embeddings. So you can check those as well. But you can check those only after you make the API call. What if you want to predict the cost, predict the price before doing that API call? To do that, first you need to understand what token is. And here we'll show you a few code snippets and examples from my Python ML Daily Com tutorial about OpenAI API cost. So if we scroll down, this is an example. One of the example is from our chatbot course. And I will link that in the description below if you want the full code. But basically, we're working with Langchain and calling chat open AI with some context from documents from CSV FAQ. And you can call that chain from Langchain, which is actually calling the open AI API with this method. Get open AI callback will calculate for you these amounts. So this is the result. How many tokens used? Prompt is input and completion is output. And this is the total cost. To be perfectly honest, I'm not really sure how that is calculated because in my calculations, the amount of those with current price of OpenAI should be different because we're using GPT 3.5. And according to the pricing page, these are the prices. So if we multiply that by the amount of token, for some reason, I get a bit lower number, but it's still in the same ballpark. So with that example, if you use Langchain, you can use also get OpenAI callback. But if you don't use Langchain, then you can calculate the price or roughly calculate the ballpark price by tokens. And the word token has many meanings in general in development and in AI. But in case of OpenAI, OpenAI token is described as this. So on the official pricing page, they say that 1000 tokens is about 750 words, about roughly. Again, there's no formula here, right? So how to calculate? And there's a library for that. It's called TickToken, and you can calculate with TickToken, for example, model GPT-4, provide the query string, and then encode that query string and see its length. That would not make any call to OpenAI, but you would get the amount of tokens before actually being charged for that. So yeah, all in all, three ways I know to calculate the price, go to the dashboard, open AI callback if you use Langchain or calculate tokens manually before the API call with TikToken library. If you know any better methods, then shoot in the comments below and let's discuss and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one and see you guys in those other videos.